Is. Um, Bill Baruch joins us now. I mentioned we had a trade in Micron. It's, it's from Bill. Um, so you've trimmed Micron and you bought Dell. Can you tell us about that? Yes, the uh, trip in Micron, it, it's this rally and, and the acceleration of the pace it's moved, it's become our number two position. Now I've had a price target internally of $150. So for this move here ahead of earnings next week, I'm really sticking to my guns, trimming it a little bit. It's been now more than a 5% five per, five position. Um, I, I think that the second half of this year is gonna be terrific uh, from Micron. And we'll hear more from the CEO, Merorta, uh, who is a terrific communicator. He gave us the trough in mem memory demand la over the last year. He told us the poor cyclical and fundamentals in 2022. He is a great communicator, so I'm looking forward to what he has. But the main thing everyone wants to pay attention to next week is the high bandwidth memory, which really improves the efficiency uh, on lower power consumption, uh, mm -hmm. opening the door to generated by AI. So I love this name. Don't take my trim as something uh, other than that. Give me Dell quickly and I gotta go. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's a gift. I mean, I think uh, the, the worries here on uh, on the uh, revenues or, or the potential of, of what they're going to make with, with uh, these, the AI servers and the PC con consumption, I, I think this was a gift seeing this, this stock down here where it was. I think in seeing it to the 170s in the coming, coming months is where I'd imagine this name to be back up there. All right. Thanks for the update. We'll see you on the desk. One day soon, I know that. You can comment on Micron? Yeah, just uh, the argument is going to be undersupplied, so average selling.